Hey everyone, thanks for joining today's video. We're gonna talk about the house of mind games. It has taken YouTube by storm in the past year. Folks have been super interested in this line. It is a pricey line. These are on the more expensive side of fragrances. And so people kind of want to know, what am I getting into before I purchase these? And I hear you and understand. So we're here to talk frankly and openly about the house. I have four fragrances that were sent to me by So Avant Garde for review. Some are wins and some are not wins for me. And I want to share my thoughts on them. And they've also been kind enough to send me two discovery sets. One is called a mini discovery set of one of their collections. And I'll talk about what that means in a minute. And then I also have an olfactive category discovery set as well to share with you. Before I get into my thoughts on these fragrances, I want to share that we are coming up on the end of the year. It is the season of giving. I am feeling super generous and would like to share some of these with my audience in addition to some other discovery sets and fragrances that I've been lucky enough to receive here at the end of the year. So please stay tuned for a video where I will be talking all about giveaways and give you an opportunity to throw your hat in the ring for one of those. There will be a, like a bonanza a bonanza of gift giving and giveaways here coming at the end of the year. So stay tuned for that. So mind games, let's first talk about the concept of the brand, which is that the names of the fragrances and the designs of the bottle are all centered around a chessboard. Are you a chess player? I am. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm a darn good chess player. I'm not the most amazing, but I will give you a run for your money and I might checkmate you if we play together. So if you'd like to play online sometime, let me know below. Maybe we'll figure out how to make that happen. So I do appreciate the concept of the fragrances and the bottling aesthetic. I will say that when I first saw this brand come out, I was a little skeptical thinking these are super pricey. <laughs> Are they really that good? And what's going on with this bottle design? But when I got some of the bottles in PR from So Avant Garde, I am an affiliate with So Avant Garde. And as such, they do send me some fragrances every month to try out and review on my channel. And can we take just a quick second to talk about PR? Not that this is a video about PR. We can talk about that at another time. But I do sometimes see on videos comments about influencers being paid to say certain things. And I just want to let you know that that is not the case. So Avant Garde sends these to me for my own personal review, and I am entitled to say whatever I want. They don't send me notes about what to say about fragrances. Actually, I've never had that from a brand to happen. And if ever that does happen, I will say no thank you to the PR because this is my channel and I say what I like. Therefore, let us continue with that. So as I was saying, I was a little skeptical about this line of fragrances until I started to receive them in the mail and thought these are actually kind of cool in terms of the bottle design, the way they look, and I can kind of see why they're, they are pricey. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I will say if there's anything you hear today that you might be interested in trying out, go over to mindgamesfragrance.com and you can use the code Veronica10 for 10% off of your entire order. So I'll start off with maybe the favorite of the four bottles that I have received. And before I talk about it, there are two collections in the Mind Games lineup. There is the Soulmate collection and the Artisan collection. And I'll talk about some discovery sets around those here in just a bit. This one is from the Soulmate collection and it's called Queening. It looks like this. As I mentioned, the bottles are very substantial. These are not inexpensively made bottles. Okay, sometimes you get a fragrance from a house that uses very inexpensive materials, but they want to char charge you a lot for them. This is not an inexpensive bottle to make. You can tell by the heft of the bottle, the structure of it, the embedding of this plate on the front and the customized caps. I mean, like these are, you know, pricey objects to make in manufacturing. The fact that Mind Games is stamped into it. There is a sort of, I don't know if this is real wood or faux wood piece, like ring that comes around that. So I got to give the bottles some credit, friends. And look, I've seen a lot of bottles. <laughs> I've seen very inexpensive bottles. I've seen very expensive bottles to make and everything in between. So these are not inexpensive to make. So a little bit about the fragrance, the description from the perfumer, Christelle Laprade. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce the name. Undeniably loved by all, queening brings the most desirable notes of clean cotton creamy orris and vanilla together in a cocooning blend. Fluffy musks, rum, and coconut embody the enveloping gourmand elements of comfort and nourishment. This is one that I liked immediately upon spraying and that my husband liked immediately upon spraying on me, not something he would like to wear. I definitely get this very sort of creamy, powdery aspect to this. I can smell a coconut accord. I would even say there's something like in the marshmallow range here. Maybe that's the way the Auris is coming through and it's heavy on the vanilla. This is very feminine, very sweet, very delicate, very ethereal and very light 
of a fragrance. I will say this does not last the longest. So I want to be honest with you about that. You, it's one that you'll have to re-up in just a few hours. It's kind of fleeting, but it is a really, really delightful fragrance. Very lovely on the smell. Very creamy, like I said, creamy, powdery, vanilla, coconutty. Dream of a fragrance. Really, really good. So this is a huge thumbs up. I like it. This was my scent of the day yesterday. I enjoyed it. I did have to respray probably two or three times. And I know that for a lot of you, if that's the case, you don't want to pay over a certain amount. So I just want to put that out there and be clear with you all. If you don't mind that and you're just interested in the scent, this is probably my top recommendation from the house. Well, maybe, maybe there's one other. We'll see. <laughs> but really, really good so far. I haven't tried every fragrance in the lineup, but I've had my nose on a few here. And I'm happy to report that this is a big thumbs up in terms of the scent profile. Really enjoy the bottle too. These full bottles are $3.75 at retail. So you can do Veronica 10 for 10% off of that. My second favorite of the full bottles that I've received and by the same perfumer as Queening is the really lovely Gardez. I enjoy this. I will say this is not a fragrance for those of you that want the most feminine leaning fragrance. It's pretty unisex, maybe slightly into masculine territory. The top notes are apricot and blackberry leaf. In the middle, there's orris and jasmine sambac and rosewood and cassis. In the dry down, a black leather, cedar wood, wood, cedar wood and popcorn. <laughs> I don't get popcorn in this fragrance. I think for me, this is mostly a lovely combination of orris and leather and a little bit of the cedar wood. I think this is divine. It is really, really good. If you like a cool leaning, and I mean cool, cool, like powdery, irisy leather. So the closest thing I can think of that gives you the vibe of this is like leather iris or iris leather, I think it's called from Theodore's Calatini's, but that is really super deep, heavy and projecting on Emolic and all of that. This is like the very, very shy, demure, laid back, subtle cousin of that one, which is loud and wants some presence in the room. This one is a lot more understated of a fragrance. And I want to share with you the perfumer's description. Gardez is an olfactive depiction of the contrast between black and white in chess, two sides playing against each other, that soft, buttery, powdery iris with the leather and cedar wood, right? So like that delicate feminine nature of orris and the more earthy, animalic nature of leather and cedar wood. Gracefully pulled together by the checkered board, this is translated olfactively through the balance of sharp spices against soft florals and juicy fruits against leathered woods. I don't get fruitiness in this. I can't say that I pick up spices per se. For me, this is orris and leather and a little bit of woodiness, but mostly orris and mostly leather. And it's really, really good. Another one that's pretty soft. I would say that this is more projecting and more long lasting maybe than queening half a day-ish, whereas this is pretty fleeting a few hours, but so super good. And I do like the bottles on these. I think the cap on this, one, all the caps on each one is creative. They have their own style. I like, I like both of these caps. I'll just say that. By the way, if you're someone that cares about the packaging, I won't get into it a whole lot, but the Mind Games packaging comes like this. You'll either get it in white or in black and it matches the bottles. So the bottles that are more silvery in nature like this that have the lighter colored wood come in lighter packaging and then the darker bottles come in darker packaging, okay? We'll go next to my fragrance of the day and that is Grand Master, Grand Master. It tells you here that rose absolute and coffee are the featured notes for this fragrance. And just to tell you a little bit more about this, exquisite florals soar willfully while rich and engaging coffee notes mingle with the spicy seduction of incense myrrh and dark wood so all of those things this is mostly a rose and coffee fragrance with a woody background it's a little bit of a drier fragrance i think the description calls this creamy for me this comes across a little bit drier almost like on the spicy side definitely a strong woody base a dry coffee that i do enjoy coffee is like one of those tough fragrances you either love it or you hate it i like a creamy coffee i like a starbucksy almost latte type of coffee like in coffee addict i like a dry coffee like this i like the drier kind of coffee that's in cafe rose by tom ford i do like coffee in a fragrance I would say this is a great mixture of an almost aromatic type of rose like imagine rose with herbs attached to it with coffee and woods. Really intriguing fragrance. This is my fragrance of the day. In fact, let me re-up here. I do find this to be lighter in texture, lighter in projection and sillage. That's the case with most of the Mind Games fragrances that I have tried. So if that's, you know, appealing to you, 
because you are interested in the artistry of the fragrance, you're interested in the quality of ingredients that are used in the fragrance, you like the bottles, you like the concept, the sustainability of the brand, all of that. You can read up about all of that on the website. Definitely check this house out. Again, for those of you that really want more expensive fragrances to project super far and last forever, you know, maybe test this house out to see if it's going to work out for you. This is on the softer end of fragrances. But I think that this is a delightful addition to the collection and is in the neighborhood of Cafe Rose from Tom Ford. Maybe a little bit more of a subdued version of that if you're interested in thinking about what this smells like. One fragrance that I was very grateful to receive in PR, but the, it just didn't work out for me. And I want to be honest about that is Double Attack. Double Attack. I was really eager to try this one the most. I've got all the fingerprints on this, friends. Oh my God. <laughs> this one has been hyped up on YouTube. A number of fragrance reviewers really have just talked about how wonderful of a chocolate woody fragrance this is. And I mean, who doesn't love a chocolate woody fragrance? I know I do. And I was definitely eager to try this. I don't dislike this. Just to be clear, this is probably an interesting smelling fragrance, but not something that tickled my fancy and wasn't what I expected it to be. So the perfumer's description, and by the way, it's the same perfumer as Queening and as Gardez, as I mentioned, the first two ones. Double Attack is a play on many forms of chocolate. The sweet classic addiction of chocolate balanced harmoniously with orange bitters, peppery spices, and smooth woods. I was reminded of the texture of biting into cacao nibs. There's a certain woodiness that complements the sweet creaminess. For me, this is a very dry fragrance. I don't get creaminess from it. I do get a dry cacao and I do get dry woods, but I feel like the fragrance falls a bit flat for me. And I will say it is incredibly fleeting, maybe even more so than queening to the point where between not enjoying the fragrance smell and the longevity, I just you know can't justify keeping this in my collection and sharing it with you all. However, I will say for those of you that are interested in Double Attack, stay tuned. It will be one that will be in my giveaway. I will give you the entire bottle and the packaging and everything here. And maybe it's one that you will love or that you have wanted to get your nose on and that you think would appeal to you. So stay tuned for that giveaway here at the end of the year. This one will go to a happy new home. So now I want to tell you about a, another few fragrances that I really like, and I will either be purchasing for myself or requesting in PR from So Avant Garde because they are really lovely. But I wanted to say, if you are in the neighborhood for Christmas presents and you have a fragrance lover in your life or a chess player in your life who you think would enjoy receiving fragrances themed around chess and who would love to get something that has, you know, the tops of the bottles that look like chess pieces, which is so, so cool of a concept. You may want to give someone a discovery set and let them experience the fragrances, choose one that they really like, and then you're going to buy the bottle for them. Or maybe just the discovery set is the present. So I want to talk about how Mind Games does their discovery sets. They have two fuller discovery sets that come with really generous travel sprays, one for the Soulmate collection and one for the Artisan collection. And these come with 10 fragrances, which is quite a lot of travel sprays and it comes in at 375 for the full set. So there's one discovery set for the Artisan collection and one discovery for the Soulmate collection that comes in in those full bottle sprays at 375. And again, you can use Veronica 10 for 10% 10 off of your purchase. I love the way that the containers of these are. I'm going to show you an example of one in just a minute. They're quite luxe and quite nice and quite impressive in terms of presentation for people and they come with let me just show you what I'm talking about. Hang on one minute. You get the 10 travel sprays and you get fragrance strips for people to try them on and all that. And it's a nice container with explanations inside. It's really cool how they package these. So you can get the full 10 travel sprays for $375 or you can do what are called olfactive discovery sets. So I have one of those from Mind Games today sent to me by So Avant Garde, as I mentioned. I asked for the amber one because I thought I might enjoy that the most. The olfactive discovery sets come in a fruity set, a woody set, an amber set, which is what I have here, and a floral set. So these sets have five travel sprays and they come in at $185, which is not bad considering you get five travel sprays for that. And it's a nice presentation. I'm going to show you in a minute and you'll see what I mean. But before we get into that, I also wanted to share that they have these mini discovery sets if all of those others feel too pricey for you. And these come in at $75 each. Again, you can get the 10% off with Veronica 10. And these are in the Soulmate collection and in the Artisan collection as well. 
So here I have the Soulmate Collection, and I'm going to share some of my favorites from this one with you too. I think these are great little gifts and stocking stuffers for folks under the tree or in their stocking, depending on what your budget looks like. Maybe this is the whole gift that you give to someone. It's always fun to get one of these discovery sets and try one per day or something like that before you decide to spring for the entire amount of the fragrance, especially because these are pricey. So I want to show you how the olfactive category discovery sets come. Pardon my fingerprint since I have already dug into this. This is the amber one. It tells you on the back the different ones that come. Amber, woody, fruity, floral, and the fragrances that come in them. So in this amber set, we have Double Attack, which I've already talked about, Sissa, French Defense, The Forward, and Queening. And so I'm going to open this box. And here is what the set actually looks like when you take it out of the box, which I think is super cool. It's almost like a chess set. If you have one of those traveling chess sets that you open up, it reminds me of that. Little magnetic flap here. It's a faux leather case. Friends, these are nicely made boxes. You get the mind games thing here at the top of the description of it. There's a little pamphlet that gives you the fragrances and everything here. Like a, oops. <laughs> oh my God. The cover here with the little emblem on the back. Y'all, I am messing up my presentation. Hang on. Okay, here we go. You get the little scent strips here under this little tab, which I think is so cool. And then you get the five fragrances that are in travel spot size. And then you get the travel case which is kind of cool. So those are full 10 mil travel sprays and you get this case that you can stick the spray into and travel with, with the emblem on the top and the name embossed on the side. I think that's really classy. And like I said, these come for $185, okay? Which I don't think is bad considering you get all of those travel sprays, five different travel sprays, sprays plus the container and the little strips. This is a really nice presentation. So I have not sprayed any of these travel sprays and this will be part of my giveaway. I'm sorry I don't have the cellophane wrap on it because I wanted to open it and see what it looked like. And you would get it with a couple of fingerprints, but I hope that that is okay with you. The fragrances that are in here that I enjoy are in the mini discovery set. So I'm just going to speak from that and not touch this one. This will be in my end of year giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Before I get into my favorites from the mini discovery set, I did want to talk about one of the Mind Games fragrances that I had the opportunity to try, but I don't have a full bottle of or a sample of here and it is jadoub 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 i don't know how to say that but i can tell you it smells super duper good it has a juicy almost tart fruity opening with pomegranate and citruses and i believe some other fruits and it has leather and patchouli in the base and it's really good maybe leaning in the sort of designer realm in terms of like that fruity goodness that you get in some of those fragrances the fruit chuli types of fragrances but it's good good and I think it's really nice. So I wanted to make sure to highlight that one. Let's talk about some of the faves that I got from the mini discovery set. And let me show you what that comes like. It's littler in terms of the footprint that it takes up versus the amber set and then versus those 10 travel spray bigger discovery sets, the 10 piece discovery set they're called. This is mini. And so when you open it, it looks, by, by the way, on the back, it tells you all the fragrances, of course, but it looks like this. And it has little sample fragrances, two mils that look like one this. that I have heard raved about here on YouTube. And I was super curious to try and I'm glad that I did is Leonora. This is a very clean, slightly fruity, highly feminine fragrance. I think it's very pretty. For me, it's highlighted by Osmanthus and Freesia. Osmanthus has this apricotty smell to it. Freesia can be sort of a soapy floral fragrance, very clean, almost leaning aldehydic type of floral. And it's powdery and it's feminine and it's light and it's ethereal. And it's got a really pretty scent bubble. This is a fragrance I would be really interested in. I will say that the fragrance opened a little sharp for me, probably because of the ginger and I believe it's passion fruit at the top. And so those came across a little bit sort of deep and sharp and zingy. And then it calmed down quickly into that more sort of apricotty, soft, powdery osmanthus with the freesia note. And I, I think it's sandalwood in the base, a really nice fragrance. One that I would definitely be interested in a full bottle of. I found it feminine and sweet and nice and very pleasant to the nose once I got past that sharp opening. I would also recommend trying Sissa Sissa. And when I first tried this, I thought, whoa, I remember having my husband sample it too and go, what do you think of this? I thought it was a little crazy smelling because it, it smelled to me like almost toasted, heavily toasted, sharp sesame seeds, sesame oil. 
like the kind of sesame oil that you use in Asian cooking sometimes. And he immediately picked that up too, but he liked it. And for me, that was almost too pronounced in the opening. And then it settled down quickly into a much more pleasant sesame note accompanied by leather and musk. And it was really neat. And then I was like, you know, maybe I kind of like this fragrance. <laughs> if you're a sesame seed lover, this might be the one for you. I would say that Sissa for me smelled in the dry down, in the mid and in the dry down, something like in the neighborhood of milk from commodity, milk bold, where it has that like woodiness in the background, that creamy marshmallow aspect. And imagine adding in sesame oil like you would use in cooking into that composition. And you'll get a sense of what Sissa smells like. It was interesting. This is one that I think my husband would like a full bottle of. I could see it being really good on him. I'm not sure that I would necessarily be interested in a bottle, but I appreciated the fragrance, especially once we got past that sort of burnt sesame opening on it. I personally really enjoyed sampling the forward. It has some beautiful citrus at the top, lemon, pomelo, which uh, can tend to smell like grapefruit, mandarin. In the middle, there's tonka bean salt and a jasmine sandback, and then vanilla and sandalwood in the dry down and another woody note. I enjoyed this. I thought it was really good. It was happy and it was woody and it was like an everyday fantastic fragrance where you want to smell beautiful and elevated and really clean and fresh and fun, but have a little bit of character to you every day, the forward would be really good. This was, I would say, a citrusy, woody fragrance that really appealed to me. I liked it. I thought it was happy and fun and a fragrance that I would definitely be interested in a full bottle of. I don't know exactly how to say the next name, Emprise, Emprise. This was another happy citrus woody fragrance. The difference between this and the forward is that this one has a sugary accord to it in the middle. And so it adds some nice sweetness. So it makes it a little bit more feminine. I still think the forward is a little bit more my style in terms of like an everyday, day-to-day, -day, easy reach kind of fragrance. And please or emprise uh, is one that I would reach for when I want it to feel a little bit girlier because of the sugar accord, it's sweeter. I do think it's a happy fragrance. I do think that this one is a tad bit airier than the forward, but was still a really happy, fun fragrance to wear with, like I said, a little bit more of a feminine touch than the one that I just mentioned. One of the sexiest fragrances in the bunch and one that I would probably want to purchase for my husband. I would wear this too, but I think it would be fantastic on him. It's Roy, I think we're going to make up the pronunciation, Roy Rui Lopez. And the perfumer, Christelle Laprade, the same person that made the other fragrances I was talking about, it paints a picture of dark and mysterious sophistication. I agree. Black tea leads the fragrance with kisses of black pepper and cherry delivering a deep wine-like fruitiness with a hint of spice. A thread of patchouli and notes of dark plum come together along with rich leather to wrap the fragrance in an aura of boozy, elegant suede. Woo! I gotta give it to this perfumer. This is a very, very sexy fragrance. This is like a round if my husband <laughs> had it on. Yes, very suede very fruity, very boozy, really good. And I'm talking about dark, deep fruits like over ripened deep fruits, very light. That part is not as strong as I would say the boozy notes, as I would say the darker notes in the fragrance, as I would say the suediness. This is a very sexy cigar lounge type of fragrance that I think is definitely worth folks checking out. And then maybe my favorite from this line and one that I may have to spring for with my own doulas. Even though these fragrances are pretty expensive, this is really, really good. It is French defense. So you're either into cherry or you're not. I am, although, you know, my favorite is lost cherry and it takes a lot to even come close to that to the point where I'm interested in even thinking about another fragrance. And this does it for me. This is a beautiful, deep, juicy cherry opening with a little bit of coolness and purpleness of violet. There's like a happiness and a upliftingness from this light ethereal rose along with an effervescent sparkling mimosa note and then a lovely amber and woods in the, the, the base, the dry down of this. I think this is captivating. I think this is beautifully feminine, but deep, luscious, delicious, sexy. I think it's intriguing and alluring. And I think it's unique. This is one of the more unique cherry fragrances that I have smelled in a long time. And I've smelled a lot of cherry fragrances and many of them are really, really fantastic. But there's something about the blend of this one, the combination of notes 
that really strikes my fancy. I would almost say that this is boozy if I hadn't seen the note structure and saw that there weren't any boozy notes highlighted. For me, it comes across a little bit boozy, but also fizzy and effervescent and happy. It's like a light, bright cherry, whereas I find lost cherry to be a little bit darker, like a darker cherry flavor. This one is maybe a lighter cherry flavor, but accompanied by the amber and woods in the base to give it give it oomph, you know, give it some heft, give it some weight, give it some substance, some, some presence. It is beautiful to me. So that for me is the favorite from the Soulmate Collection, followed probably by Queening and Leonora at a close second place, the two of them fighting for second place. The forward is fantastic. And Prise or Emprise is fantastic. And then if you're leaning into masculine territory, that Sissa and then Roy or Roy Lopez, fantastico there's gambit in the fragrance as well with a lot of which a lot of people have said has this sort of marine like quality that is nice although my husband and i agreed that it smells sort of typical of uh, designer men's fragrances which there's nothing wrong with that it's actually really darn good and then sans voir which was also lovely vieri which was also lovely lovely there wasn't a stinker in the bunch but i wanted to share with you some of my favorites so let me know are you interested in the mind games collection if so which of the fragrances are capturing your attention and why and if you already have some let us know your thoughts on them in the comments below i wasn't able to review all of them but i hope that this was helpful for you again if you're interested you can use veronica 10 at mindgamesfragrance.com for 10 percent off your order for yourself or for your christmas gift giving take care my friends see you in the next episode